hello YouTube and welcome to another networking tutorial so in this video I'm going to show you how to configure VLANs and trunk ports on the Juniper MX routers so are you ready let's get started so as you can see here I have a simple topology which consists of actually four PCs and two MX Juniper MX routers so the goal of this uh, video is to configure actually VLANs on this routers on this Juniper MX routers. So we'll be configuring actually VLANs on this uh, router here MX01 and also a trunk port and we'll do it actually the exact same thing on the other MX02 Juniper router. So let's begin by configuring our MX01 Juniper router, okay? So, so as you can see here on the left side of the topology, I have configured these two PCs. So PC1, which has an IP address of 10.251.10.2, okay? So as you can see here on my console, if I do show IP, you can see that I have configured IPv4 IP address, okay? And this PC actually on the VLAN called data, okay? So actually we'll be creating this VLAN on this MX01 Juniper router. And below it, there is PC2, which has an IP address, as you can see here on the terminal, 10.251.10.3 and it exists on another actually VLAN called voice okay so the first thing that we're gonna do on this mx juniper router is to configure vlans okay <coughs> so let's go to the mx01 router here i am on the operational mode of juniper so if i do show domain or actually show bridge domain to see all the VLANs that we have so you can see here I have no VLANs configured okay so here you have to notice that uh, the configuration is a little bit uh, not similar when you are using other devices other appliances from Juniper for, ex for example if are you using a switch EX Juniper switch or the SRX firewall from Juniper or the QFX they have slightly different uh, show commands especially for the VLANs for example if you want to show the VLANs on the other devices you have to write show VLANs but here you can see that I have not this command so the command VLANs does not exist it's replaced by the bridge actually on the MX routers here okay <clears throat> so let's go to the configuration mode of actually Juniper MX in order to configure VLANs okay so first thing let's uh, actually create this uh, VLANs called data which has an ID of 10 okay for example here so in order to do that the command is pretty simple set the bridge domain and here we specify the name of our VLAN so in this case it's data and we gave it also an ID so I will give it for example ID of 10 okay so here I have created my first VLAN let's create the other VLAN which is voice VLAN which has an ID of for example 20 okay let's do the same here here we go so you can see that we have created our two VLANs so if I do show bridge domains you can see that our two domains or actually VLANs have been created data which has an ID of 10 and the voice which has an ID of 20 okay and of course you have to commit your changes whenever you enter a command here on uh, Juniper MX routers okay so now that we have configured our VLANs we have to put these two uh, actually PCs in the corresponding VLAN so I'll put PC2 
here or PC1 in the data VLAN and our put PC2 and the VLAN voice. So the first command is actually I have to change this interfaces here for our router 001 and 002 to be actually in mode access okay so let's begin by 001 so in order to convert this interface to an access so you have to enter this command here so set interface then here we gave the name of our interface so for our example here it's 001 unit 0 and family bridge interface mode access so this is the command in order to convert this uh, actually port to an access port okay then we have to put it in vlan data which is vlan id 10 so in order to do that the command also is pretty simple pretty straightforward set interface and interface name unit 0 family bridge vlan id 10 okay so now we have put this interface here into vlan actually 10 so let's do the same but this time for the vlan 20 which is vlan voice okay so first of all let's convert this interface to uh, an access interface so here the interface is 002 here we go then we put it in the vlan 20 which is the voice vlan okay here we go so now both these interfaces are access in access mode and the first one is in uh, actually in the vlan uh, data which is the vlan id 10 and the second one in the vlan voice which is vlan id 20 so all we have to do now is to convert this interface here between the two actually routers in order to be a trunk interface so it permits actually VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, so in order to do that, the command also is pretty simple. We have first to convert the interface 000 into a trunk interface and not access as we have done for the previous one so we'll do it using this command here set interface 000 unit 0 family bridge interface mode but this time it's not an access it's a trunk okay then we have to allow the vlans that traverse this interface which are vlan id 10 and vlan id 20 and we do that using actually this command here set interface unit 0 family bridge vlan id list and here we have to put the vlan's id that we want to permit so first thing we have to permit vlan 10 then i will permit vlan 20. so now the configuration is finished on this router actually one so let's commit our changes and we will go to the operational mode in order to verify actually that so let's exit so if i do now show uh, bridge domain bridge domain you can see that i have actually my two bridge domain which are actually our vlans so here we have our data vlans which has an id of 10 and interface that belong to it so we have of course the trunk interface as you can see here on the topology and we have also 001 okay so as you can see here on this table okay and for the vlan uh, voice which has an id of 20 we have interface 002 as you can see in the topology and also the trunk interface okay so now we have finished all the things with uh, actually uh, router 01 so the configuration for the second router will be similar to the, this one all we have to change actually is the actually the other pcs so here pc3 will be belong to, uh, to the same vlan data and pc4 will be actually on 
add villain voice so let's do that very quickly so I'll move on to MX02 which is our second and I will go to configuration mode here we go so the first thing we have to create actually the villain so let's create villain 10 then villain 20 which is our voice villain okay here we go now we configure the interface we begin by the interface 001 which will be an access interface here we go and we'll put it in the VLAN 10 then we have to move on to uh, interface 002 which also will be an access interface and we set it in the VLAN 20 so as you can see the commands are exactly the same as for the router 01 and finally we convert the interface between the two routers which is 000 to be a trunk interface with this command here and we allow the two VLANs that we have created which are VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 and of course finally we have to commit the changes and to verify that okay so I will commit my changes so hopefully I will get no, no errors here okay so let's go to the operational mode and do show bridge domain just to verify that everything is set up as we want so of course here as you can see we have our two VLANs data and voice with their IDs and interfaces that belong to them okay so now let's verify that everything is working so let's try to ping for example this from PC1 to PC3 which actually should get a response because they are on the same VLAN so I will go here to uh, PC01 so here I'm on PC1 so let's try to ping PC3 which has an IP address 210.251.10.4 so let me see that yes and let's ping it and verify everything is working and indeed PC1 can ping PC3 but it cannot ping PC4 which has an IP address of .5 because simply they are not on the same VLAN so let's change it to 5 and you can see here that we get no response it's not reachable because they are not on the same VLAN so now let's go to PC2 and try to pick PC3 so of course we'll not get a response because they are not on the same VLAN so I will try to ping from PC2 PC3 so I get no response but if I ping PC4 I should get a response because simply they are on the same VLAN here we go so as you can see how it is easy to configure VLANs or what we call here bridge domain on the Juniper MX router okay so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to configure actually VLAN and also trunk port and access port on the Juniper MX router. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.